It's just about 5.30 here, day after elections in Schenectady. Heading towards State Street, there was gunfire. It sounded like a loud rifle and uh, very startling, very powerful rifle. There's some police cars gathered here. I'm going to see what I can catch on my camera. go to work I take my walk in the morning as I was putting on my pants about about five six gunshots big gun too Loud. I came outside and I didn't I looked out my window I didn't see nothing and then a couple minutes later the police came over it definitely came from that way though the streets are dirty there's not much for these kids to do it's terrible I grew up here and I'm not a privileged guy man you know I never was growing up but this is it's sad now the, the state that we're in it's, re it's really sad because 30 years ago, you had more cohesiveness with the community. Like, they cared. Like, now they, these kids do something. They're scared, the, the, the elders. So they won't even say nothing to the kids. Where before, you know, if I did something wrong, my neighbor would chastise me or go and ring the bell and tell my mom. These parents are so messed up. Like, they want to fight the people that's telling them their kids are doing something wrong. It, it's, like, culturally, it's, it's all messed up. Yeah. It's sad. Like you said, it's dirty out here. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to pick up after themselves. And if you have that, it's just a trickle-down effect and the whole community goes through. Kids having kids. A lot of these people that are having kids are, are babies themselves. Yeah. The kids are having kids. There's nothing for them to do. They need jobs. They need activities. They need something. And, and I, I, I mean, it sounds like a simple solution, but realistically, it, it's not because these are issues that have been going on for years. You know, as kids, we, we do make a lot of mistakes and yeah. you kind of got to find your own way. But it sucks when you're 16, 17, 18 and you didn't even get to get to find that chance and you're dead already. Well, I've been up all night. It's the morning after the great disappointment of our loss of Roger Hall becoming the mayor. It is a great loss for Schenectady. It doesn't make any sense that people would want this to continue the way Schenectady is, the state of affairs. The violence, the litter, the disrespect, the hopelessness. I believe that Roger would have raised the standards of behavior in our communities to a higher standard because he's a positive role model and has class. It's just a great loss. Anyway, so I've been up all night walking, and um, I heard these gunshots. I, I've heard gunshots uh, many nights walking. I uh, didn't have my camera. Today I had my camera, and uh, I came upon the scene. I'm going to walk down and around and go up from the other end and come down, give the police some time. I didn't want to, uh, you know, look like I'm intruding on what they're doing and look like an idiot so uh, but I do want to capture this I think it's important to capture things like this to show the real state of affairs and this is one of them I just went through Central Park and I'm heading down Western Parkway and you can hear the police siren for some reason whatever that is I'm going to capture whatever I can of the scene. Feel safe in your neighborhood? After this morning, I don't know, man. Got me kind of weird. Yeah, I don't blame you. That was a scary shit. Do you know what happened where the bullets hit? I don't even know what happened. I was sleeping, I woke up, and yeah. I heard like five shots go off, man. I don't even know. It's something I knew it had something to do with at the corner. That's where all the attention be at. Um, was it like a, a, a rifle, or do you think, or a pistol? I think it was a pistol. Really? Yeah. 
Do you have any idea what was, what they were after, who they were after, or anything? Target. Well, uh, at five seventeen, there was a minivan that pulled up in front of the yellow house. They got shot. Ah. And, uh, someone came out, and I'm not sure how many shots there were. Shoot up the car and uh, the house. How does that make you feel being in the neighborhood now? <laughs> you know. We, uh, I, I, I think it's a pretty good street, except for that, that same house, you know. That oh, there was trouble there before? They were trouble, yeah. yeah. And, uh, we had run into that. Uh, uh. You know where the bullets hit the car? Was it the front or the back? Or that side. Or the other side? Okay, there's one, two, three, four bullet holes in the car. One could have hit the window, or the one that was next to the window might have broken the window. There's one at the house, and one went up the street. I think I heard six. Some report five. So there's at least five to six bullets that was fired. Okay, got some reporters here. Let's take a look at my footage. Hey, on. Yes. They went there and oh, the they spoke. Oh, the police did? Ah, they yeah. Did. Cops probably went there and asked them for the video? I don't know. I'm oh. saying that I know they got a camera that's right on everything right here. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Ah. Yes, I do. Good. He's just going to look at you first. Just look at me, David. Look at me. Okay. Uh, tell me tell Anytime me. you're ready. All right. Uh, David Tanner. Yes. T-A-N-N-E-R. Yes. How long have you lived in this neighborhood, David? Well, I've lived in Schenectady all my life, not this particular neighborhood, though. And just talk about what you were doing around 5 o'clock this morning and what occasioned you to come to this block here. I happened to be walking in the vicinity of Central Park, and I heard the gunshots. It was like five or six really loud shots. And it was very startling, so I, I said, you know, I'm, I'm going to go investigate this and see if I can cut some footage for my spec videos, you know. I, I walked down the one block and around and I seen all the police action. Mm -hmm. I mean, so apparently, you know, some guy just shot out the windows of this car, I mean, with a shotgun? I mean, No, it was a rifle, okay. and uh, the people said that there was trouble in this house. There's mm -hmm. been some kind of activity. And I've talked to some of the neighbors, and they're very concerned. Um, they're very scared, and they don't feel safe anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess a lot of people are just fast asleep. Can you imagine yes. being jolted from your sleep? By I was jolted just walking down the street. I was like three blocks away. It was so loud. So I can't imagine what it must have been like. It's scary. It was really scary. I've never, I've never been through experience like that. I never wanted to. Tense moments after police say shots were fired from a rifle in Schenectady. We'll tell you what stopped one of the bullets from going inside a house. This is CBS 6 News. Good evening. A Schenectady family is really counting its blessings. They're safe tonight after gunshots were fired outside their home this morning. Here's where it happened, just outside a home on Western Avenue, uh, Western Parkway, rather, in Schenectady. CBS 6's Hubert Wiggins is here. He spoke with families. He's uh, live tonight. Hubert, this has got to be a frightening day for this family. That's right, Ann and Cody. It was some tense moments for this family early this morning as they woke up to the sound of gunfire. And although they were pretty shaken up, they are simply relieved that nobody in the family was hurt. Schenectady police say an unknown person fired several shots from a rifle into a car parked outside this house on Western Parkway. David Tanner heard the gunshots from several blocks away. I happened to be walking in the vicinity of Central Park and I heard the gunshots. It was like five or six really loud shots. And it was very startling, so I, I see, I'm, I'm going to go investigate this and see if I can catch some footage. This is video Tanner shot showing several bullet holes and the passenger side window shot out. Family members were asleep when the gunfire rang out. Me and my sister, we were sleeping late over here on the couches, and we heard like six, seven gunshots go off, and we just jumped up off, off out of our sleeps and came outside, looked at, we thought, 
thought the house was shot. Looked at her car, her whole car was shot. The windows, the back window was out and everything. The family members sleeping in the front room were fortunate. Sierra shows me how one of the bullets was stopped from entering the house by the metal frame of the window. Shot right there. It didn't go in the house, but my nephew usually sleeps like right there. Thank God last night he wanted to sleep with his grandmother, so he was in the room safe. Now, the family members tell me that they are not sure who is responsible for the shooting that happened this morning. One of the uh, folks that owns a home a couple of houses away actually has surveillance cameras mounted on their property and gave that video over to the police. And so far, Schenectady police have not made any arrests, nor have they identified any suspects. Reporting live in Schenectady, I'm Hubert Wiggins, CBS 6 News. Thank you, Hubert. It's now